terms of dry run. Something special coming in the future. Get it all working. 500 uh, uh, millimeters by 1000 millimeters bed. Got my back mount all up and running. Not running right now because it's just a dry run. Got that going to just a little back, shop back, and that output funnel goes right outside. Maybe uh, in a day or two I'll have the video up and running of uh, what this is actually going to be. It's going to be pretty awesome, I hope. And that's about it. I'll let this run. It's the X carve from Inventables, upgraded from a Shapeoko 2. Gonna do a uh, test on this tomorrow using this, and then uh, uh, another tester with uh, some uh, graphics on it maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but I'll post the final tomorrow. Right, I'm just going to finish up the dry run here. I'm going to go all the way through. See that's a visualizer. It's a uh, visual of uh, it running. It's right there, coming out, going over, coming down, going. It's right here on it. Wiggling. It's gonna go all the way through about. Uh, one third to uh, three fourths, or um, is it three eighths done? Something like that. I don't know. Uh, using a new technique. This is why I've been experimenting for so long using a uh, silk worm on Grasshopper which is a plug-in for Rhino. It's really cool because you can draw a line, you know, a curve, any curve, and this program lets you write that curve in G-code so you can draw in 3 space using an XYZ machine. Took a little bit of time trying to convert the settings file to something that worked with CNC because it's mostly designed for 3D printers but took a while and the code the grasshopper it's a mess right now.
I know, I could just screen capture, but I'm not going to do that. So here's my little params. You know, X length, stock uh, depth, points density, stuff like that. High safe Z, safe travel, you know, all that good stuff. Um, and here's the uh, um, image stuff to here's the image I will, will be carving tomorrow. It's late, so I don't want to. I would carve it tonight, but it's too late. People need to sleep. Um, and image stuff, point creation, getting all the points and turn them into lines. It's curves. It's preview thing I set up just to look at it. Blah blah blah. Stock material. Blah blah blah. Oh, wait, I, I don't even. That's that's all blanked out. Don't even pay attention. So here's uh, uh, the G code where I start getting into that G code generation, blah blah blah, all this stuff that probably hard to describe. If you want, just let me know and I'll go through it more. I will go through it more in the future, but that's when I get all this figured out. So I had a problem with that uh, um, silkworm stuff. I had this set up and then the, the G code, as I said, is made for the 3D printer, so I had to, yeah, mind all the panels when you're when you're using when you're using silkworm or uh, grasshopper in general, and you're just doing stuff. You have to have panels. You have to have them to see what the hell you're doing. All right, so and did uh, uh, so to. Instead of going line by line, I just did a text separator and uh, E because, oh, let's see, you can see this. Uh, so, you know, G1, feed rate, X travel, Y travel, Z travel, and then this E, I guess, is for uh, 3D printers, something like um, uh, extrude amount, you know, extruding the material, I don't know, but I just got rid of that easily. There's some stuff going on, but I got that ended up. Uh, I think all this, don't worry about. This is me trying to do some. I think most of this can be deleted, trying to figure out another way. But come up here, text separator, put that E in there, separated it. So this is what I need in the zero. It's what I don't need. Separated that Z or that E. And then flood that back into a. Uh, list item, list item zero index to grab that first line and then flatten it all and here is that gorgeous piece a chunk of code, G code oh, man. and then I I, uh, I had to take this and uh, uh, change the header for it just to, to get the absolute uh, zero on it and uh, I still have that up So I got that going. Uh, it doesn't matter. I going. What's that simple header for, for that? Millimeters and then uh, absolute zero, stuff like that. And that that was it. And I I just, just uh, what the hell? I'll plug it in and it started working. It started working. So I'm excited. I'll uh comb through all that, that grasshopper stuff and uh, I'll let people play with it um, make it all trimmed nice and neat so people can understand what the hell all that is uh, so this is an image sampler so pretty easy for grasshopper people to understand I would think but yeah this is pretty cool I've, I've heard of people using the, the silkworm for laser etching but not for CNC. I, I do think one of my friends from school was doing that. I haven't gotten a, I tried getting a hold of one. No response. So had to do it myself. How far are we? Okay. 
little more than halfway through it. Halfway through it. Don't do that, guys. Oh, no. There we go. Tripod went crazy in some zoo again. So far, so good. No, no mishaps. So that's good. 